Namaskar and a very warm welcome to this edition of our program Let's Talk Health Ortho Queries. I am Nidhi Kumar and you are watching India Science. Well, India's cumulative COVID-19 vaccine coverage exceeds 193 crores and India reported 2706 new COVID cases, more than 2.2 lakh vaccine doses administered in the last 24 hours. And the recovery rate currently stands at 98.74%. As COVID-19 continues to surge in the country and across the world, COVID-related queries are on the go. So today we bring to you orthopedic, uh, you know, joint replacement, knee replacement, hip replacement and such like effects and what should be done to avoid these kind of complications. In this program, we take your questions from Facebook and YouTube Live and today we are joined by the very well-known Dr. C.S. Yadav, Chairman, Head of the Department of Joint Replacement Orthopedics at the Primus Super Speciality Hospital, Chanakya Puri. Many thanks for joining us, sir. Thank you Thank so much. Thank you, Nidhi. Thank you. Please tell us something about this, uh, you know, new variant and why we are still seeing a surge of new cases as uh, each day progresses? Uh, Nidhi, uh, basically, now I think uh, overall situation is under control, very much under control. And uh, now COVID has become like a flu, like, a, uh, like any cold. And whatever case we see, I, this is not my subject. Even then, I know basics of uh, COVID. So, I think on the basis of that knowledge, I can say that now we should not too much worry. We should not stop our routine work because of fear of COVID. That is my opinion. Absolutely. Uh, do you have any specific points on uh, joint bones and uh, muscles and COVID, sir? Uh, uh, as we told previously, COVID is a viral infection. Uh, and this viral infection basically affects each and every cell, each and every part of our body, uh, it damages maximally over the lungs and bronchial tree. And it also affects our bone muscles. So, patient, sometimes patient doesn't have cough and cold like that, severe uh, uh, hypoxia, lungs are not affected. Sometimes severe bone pain, severe myalgia, uh, lack of muscle strength, uh, patient feel. Uh, uh, so, uh, uh, orthopedic point of view, angle, arthralgia, myalgia uh, is most common cause uh, affection and even bone pains are also there. And sometimes this uh, arthralgia may convert into the arthritis, but it is very rare. Like in the other viral fever, rarely these viral fever may lead to arthritis or inflammatory arthritic disorder. Same way have, happens with the COVID. And uh, one thing I have seen uh, during these days because of COVID, uh, especially during the second wave, persons has taken a lot of stride. So we see two patients, three patients daily in OPD of uh, avascular necrosis of femoral head. So stride, even COVID itself, they may cause avascular necrosis of femoral head. So these are the orthopedics. Uh, uh, related problem uh, seen in the COVID. Absolutely. Uh, here I'd like you to answer a question that has come to us on our YouTube, uh, which is uh, from Dipyanti from Noida. She says, how could one uh, keep himself or herself fit, uh, especially during old age, especially the muscle problems? Doctor, if you could elaborate. Uh, we have done uh, previously many program over the fitness during the lockdown. So basically, to uh, keep yourself fit, you need, as I always tell, need just one thing, determination and uh, exercise and break your inertia. Even if during lockdown, you were not able to go, you can do almost each and every exercise at your home. Once you are not able to walk and jog, you can do a lot of core group exercise, even cycle, some dumbbell, some weight, some push up and uh, some sort of squatting. So all these exercises, I think more than 80 to 90 percent exercise you can do uh, at home during COVID. And honestly speaking, if you are fit, then chances of COVID infections are less. And even if COVID infects you, uh, the chances of gravity of infection will be 
much less so you may not end up in uh, icu like that so it may covid may pass on like uh, influenza so fitness is most important for any disease any viral infection if you are fit regularly walking jogging uh, weight, weight training exercises if you yoga uh, so if you stretching exercises if you do that then definitely you are always happy uh, uh, during lockdown you can do at a home most of the exercise once lockdown is not there you should uh, hit the your park and gym so it is like that absolutely doctor um, please tell us and all our viewers today what is osteoporosis and how would you like to explain that in uh, uh, you know so that a layman understands the language and does it also increase post covid what is this term and how is it caused i'd li like you to explain this in detail sir uh, uh, so uh, basically osteoporosis is weakening of the bone uh suppose uh, some pillar is there and uh, that pillar uh, doesn't have cement like calcium it doesn't have uh, bone is there but it is just uh, uh, no uh, calcium is there suppose so what happens this pillar becomes big it may crumble because of uh, even if from the small pressure it may crumble so osteoporosis means weakening of the bone because of many factor and what ha happened during the covid a uh, bone has become osteoporotic or osteopenic because of many reason as i uh, previously explained steroid lot of persons they have taken steroid steroid is directly responsible for the weakening of the bone secondly we were not doing enough exercises during covid so second cause lack of exercise during covid third covid itself affects the bone cells so uh, uh, bone inflammation is there and uh, uh, all these factors ultimately may lead to uh, a weak bone even muscles are affected if muscles are affected you will not be able to do the exercise uh, so overall these four five factors they are responsible for more osteoporotic cases and uh, severe we have seen more osteoporosis post covid definitely and doctor uh, going on to our next question what is rheumatoid arthritis what is the difference sir, between both the what is this kind of arthritis if you could also explain this in detail uh, rheumatoid arthritis is basically inflammatory arthritis uh, it affects in the usually middle aged or young especially lady and what happens some uh, uh, this is a autoimmune phenomena so some autoimmune uh, dysfunction takes place in the body and these auto uh, basically these uh, uh, antibodies it affects the joint synovial membrane even soft tissue even various organ of our body so uh, uh, once a lot of chemicals are released inside the joint so ultimately the uh, that uh, layer of cartilage that is very smooth that is uh, necessary for the uh, health of any joint that cartilage is uh, basically destroyed synovial that membranes uh, around the joints get thickened so uh, this rheumatoid is uh, not very common it is 1 to 2% of the population so as i told you uh these covid uh, or even viral infection rarely it may mimic like a inflammatory arthritis in few patient in long term absolutely sir you just explained rheumat uh, rheumatoid uh, arthritis what is the difference between a normal arthritis and this uh, can you explain that as well a nor normal arthritis we call it is a age related arthritis that is osteoarthritis Uh, with the growing age, as you know, uh, uh, changes take place in the body. Even your skin, even your hair, everything—the uh, uh, heart function, lung function, every every cell, every part is affected. Same happens with our joints. Uh, every joints has a smooth uh, layer of cartilage. With the growing age, that thickness uh, of cartilage gradually decreases down. Sometimes it gets almost zero. so bone one bone uh, superior bone uh, one bone hits each other so that is called normal arthritis is related arthritis 
even this is related of arthritis uh, it is not primarily on is related many factors they work together to uh, cause this osteoarthritis suppose you uh, uh, you are overweight and uh, then this arthritis may come even at the age of uh, 50 suppose you are 80 even if you, you may not have this arthritis because if you are fit if you are doing exercise if you uh, your body weight is uh, uh, within limits and uh, you take care of uh, muscles your muscle is strong so is plus your activity your lifestyle they, uh, all these things together they causes osteoarthritis you spoke about the causes could you also tell us some kind of remedies uh, to increase uh, you know um, bone health and something like that because people are interested in knowing that yeah, definitely. I uh, I always tell uh, to our uh, citizens uh, what I <laughs> in Hindi. One hour शरीर के लिए निकालो और तेईस घंटे बजे से रहो और लंबे टाइम तक जवान रहो और अच्छी क्वालिटी की लाइफ लंबे टाइम तक रहो. So definitely exercise is the most important to uh, basically control or to retard the graph, to uh, slow down the graph of any arthritis, any problem in the body. Exercising proper, maintain your, uh, uh, do not get obesity, maintain your weight and take nutritive diet. Our diet uh, is lacking of a uh, lot of minerals and proteins and uh, micronutrients. So we should take care of all these things. Exercise, diet and uh, uh, weight, take care of weight. You should not have much carbohydrate in your diet. If you take care of these things, uh, definitely you will not, you may not affect the arthritis even during your uh, lifetime. Absolutely, doctor. And we have to, you know, start taking questions now on knees and hips since you are an expert on that. So, lots of questions are pouring in. Uh, meanwhile, just tell us about some joint abnormalities such as hip. Uh, 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 dysplasia. Yeah, uh, hip dysplasia is basically developmental disorder. Uh, what happens uh, during uh, uh, during birth? Uh, usually, every joint has its proper shape, okay, configuration, geometry. So, what happens in the hip dysplasia uh, that uh, during pregnancy that hip joint is not properly formed it may be slanting like that uh, so it doesn't have proper that uh, shape or, or uh, of that joint so these if a uh, person or child doesn't have that uh, proper shape uh, these uh, persons will have arthritis at the age of like 20 or even 30 even he may not be able to walk properly he may have limb even pain so that is developmental or by birth disorder. It is not related with the arthritis. Later on, these patients may have early arthritis. Right, doctor. We have another YouTube question. Ananya wants to know from Noida that her mother has yeah. had a hip joint fracture. What is the recommended mm -hmm. treatment or surgery for this? Uh, this depends on the age and patient requirement. Suppose uh, mother is above 70 and uh, hip joint fracture of uh, near the ball of hip is there and she is 70. Uh, then in most of these cases, this fracture doesn't unite. So what we do, we do joint replacement. Depending on the uh, requirement of the patient, it may be half joint replacement, it may be total joint replacement. Suppose uh, hip joint fracture, is, uh, she is mother, she might be like 70. Suppose this hip fracture takes place in the young patient uh, after the massive injury, then treatment is different. We should we fix this fracture with the nail or plate and we try to get unite these fractures. So uh, hip fracture treatment depends on age to it and demand of the patient. Right, doctor. If you could, if you could now tell us about knee replacement therapies. And, uh, you know, especially when you have an accident case, what is the first aid that should be given in an accident case as well? Uh, which accident is, I couldn't get your question. 
Uh, what happens to uh, any kind of replacement in accident cases? Basically, joint replacement, uh, knee, knee joint replacement is done for the arthritic uh, knee joint. We, whenever arthritis is so much severe and uh, 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 severe, so patient is not able to lead a normal daily activity and da daily activity are affected significantly, then knee replacement is done. In the cases of knee fracture, unlike hip fracture, uh, joint replacement is not done. Here, uh, if knee fracture is there, knee uh, injury is there, then we fix it with the plate screw. Unlike hip fracture, where we replace in very rarest of rare circumstances in the knee fracture, knee joint can be replaced, but it is very rare. Unlike in the hip joint, elderly, above 70, and the fracture near the wall, where uh, you can very easily, you can take decision, no, we should do joint replacement in this case. It is not uh, the case for the uh, knee fractures. Right, doctor. Uh, what are the post-surgical replacement surgery precautions that you recommend, uh, doctor? Because a lot of people are asking this as well. Whether it is a hip or it is a knee replacement, what are the certain uh, precautions? Uh, because yeah. understandably, you can't start walking the stairs on, in two days. Yeah, yeah. So basically, the two joint, knee joint replacement and hip joint replacement, they are highly successful surgery in the world, uh, in the orthopedics, and they have really revolutionized the treatment and the life of patient gets changed drastically. And uh, it makes uh, life of patient very easy. And after the surgery, proper knee and hip joint replacement surgery, it should be done in the expert hand. That is most important to get good result. I always emphasize over that because it is surgeon dependent surgery. So if you do your proper job uh, and after once we have done our proper job, surgeon has done a good job, uh, patient walks from the second day mm -hmm. and uh, after that, we advise patient to do regular exercise. The aim of exercise is to get muscle strong. So once muscle is strong, then you enjoy this artificial joint. That is most important because muscle will move the joint. Joint is that thing. So proper surgeon's surgical skills, then care by patient, like he can walk from the second day. Uh, and regular exercise by the patient and few precautions. After the knee and hip joint replacement, patient can carry out all the activities uh, except he should avoid sitting on the floor. If some emergency is there, he can sit. Even he can sit, he is able to sit even then for the longevity of the processes. Suppose once joint is properly done by a good surgeon, then it uh, basically lasts lifelong if it is done around the age of 50 i always say or we have seen this is our experience of more than 25 years we have done patients they are coming still at 15 year follow-up 20 years follow-up so uh, avoid sitting on the floor rest everything is allowed like you can go for walk you can go for the cycling you can go for the swimming you can uh, uh, play the golf you can go for trekking uh, so, uh, and another thing, if you should avoid that, uh, uh, do not do competitive games like playing a hockey, that outdoor competitive game, because you may fracture your artificial joint. So, these are the two precautions. Rest, everything is alive. You walk whatever amount you walk. You cycle, do cycling, you drive, even you go up and down the stairs. So, uh, it basically changes the life of the patient. Patient is always in misery uh, before the surgery, uh, so pain goes and even deform, deformity of the uh, joint, it also joint gets states and uh, uh, locomotion improves, pain goes, deformity, uh, range of motion also increase. So all these things comes with the good quality of surgery and uh, if patient takes care of the joint. Uh, yes, doctor. What are the possible complications uh, uh, of uh, uh, knee replacement surgery and uh, 
is there a possibility of blood clot or thrombosis or infection also? Uh, what uh, should uh, be done? Is very good question. This is very good question. Basically, uh, uh, thrombosis clot, if you uh, now the newer surgical practice, newer clinical practice has reduced very much, very, very uh, much incidence of these uh, thrombosis. This is more of high and pharma driven thing. Uh, and uh, so thing is that now do a surgical practice anesthesia practice patient walk from the second day if you do and patient gets epidural anesthesia all these things so if you do all these practices the chances of thrombosis are very less now especially in indian patient as asian patient it is more of hype we have faced that situation and even uh, uh, even then, we use that uh, simple aspirin tablet for to prevent the thrombosis in patient, and we use venous pump. Venous pump. So if you take a just simple aspirin tablet, we use venous pump. The chances are almost zero after this surgery. And uh, other complication like if you are not a good surgeon, you have not done the surgery properly joint. Either you will not be able to properly walk from the second day or joint may fail early. As I told you, the quality of surgery most important for the longevity of the processes. So, uh, joint may fail you, uh, then you may need another revision. So, otherwise there is a, as such, no, it is quite safe surgery, elective surgery. And uh, uh, definitely, so if you are really in pain and trouble you should go without any fear yes doctor uh, my next question to you is what is uh, arthroplasty and what are the new techniques that going forward you see india may adopt in the field of orthopedics yeah yeah arthroplasty means joint replacement nidhi it is done for the knee replacement and hip joint replacement maximally because uh, arthroplasty or joint replacement of these two joints are very successful and uh, uh, basically newer technique uh, i am uh, few people may be basically angry with me but truth is that many joints many techniques many technology they come with the towering claims with they come with the bank towering claims like what happened uh, this is experience of my 25 years they gradually they disappear and person stop using them or they are bent by because of uh, uh, because of inherent problem with them so thing is that uh, most important thing to get the uh, good result in total joint replacement it is a surgeon dependent surgical skills dependent surgery we have at least more than two dozen staff at each and every step is important and it should be done nicely. Suppose any technology come, it will not do all the 25 steps. It will do few steps. And rest, if you are not good surgeon, you are not doing good rest steps, then the advantage of these few steps will go. So if you are a good surgeon, and uh, if you are a good surgeon, then you do not need these technologies. You should not, uh, you do not depend on these technology. But you have technology, then it may be little addition boon, especially uh, those do not have much experience and uh, those who are doing less amount of less number of surgery for them. Yes, like doctor. new technology navigation came with the many claim, towering claim, but gradually many persons they bought navigation. Uh, later on, most of them they do not use navigation now. They do by uh, the basic established technique of arthroplasty. Now another technology like robot is coming. So I do not know the future of robot, but robot cannot replace, robot cannot be alternate to the good surgical skills. That I am sure. So good surgical skills cannot be replaced by any technology. Yes, doctor. We have another question on our uh, YouTube. Uh, this comes to us from Shivam from Ghaziabad. Uh, and he talks about a very common problem, doctor, that he's dislocated his shoulder and it's causing severe pain. So please suggest some medication. Does ice and heat treatment help? And uh, what should I do not to injure it again? 
Uh, anything for shoulder strengthening, he's asking. But also, yeah. my question here is, I've seen shoulder displacement even in children, doctor. So why does it happen actually? What is the main cause? Uh, basically, Shivam is a, a young man, so most most uh, common cause is trauma, injury to the shoulders, surround structure, those are uh, doing stability to the shoulder joints. So, uh, if they are injured because of trauma, patient may have dislocation. So, once uh, shoulder is set uh, at the original place, it may dislocate later on. So, there are a lot of patients, they we, they face recurrent dislocation of the shoulder. So, uh, uh, for after once your acute phase is over, after four to six weeks, you should have good shoulder exercises. And uh, even after doing good shoulder exercises, in certain posture, you feel the feeling of dislocation, subluxation, then you may need surgery as well for the shoulder dislocation. Uh, right, doctor. Um, I now want to ask you for the benefit of all our viewers watching, uh, sometimes you have an accident and a, you know, you, a, a very difficult kind of a fracture when the bone actually breaks into two and the patient goes into trauma. What kind of treatment uh, do you think should be done? Is it age wise? Is it uh, area wise? Uh, could you give some examples and elucidate it? Yeah, basically a displaced the... fracture. Uh, uh, basically, every fracture need different type of treatment and this also depends on the age and every fracture is different and uh, treatment may be different age to age, treatment may be different from side to side, whether fracture is here in the joint, whether fracture is in the center. So, uh, uh, so I, I, overall, every fracture is different. At every uh, every age is different, uh, every every site is different. So surgeons take decision what has to be done with that fracture, considering all these factors. Uh, and most of these fracture they require stability of the fracture. Fracture has to be suppose these bones are lying uh, lying lying that. So they have to be aligned, and this movement should be stopped. Once we stop the movement with the help of nail or plate. Fracture automatically unites within three to six six months uh, in majority of the cases. So it is a very broad thing. So overall, uh, this I have to say. Absolutely, doctor. Now we have uh, another YouTube question. The last, in fact, we are running out of time. Nisha has uh, written to us from Dehradun, and she wants to know what is a collarbone fracture and how long does it take to heal uh, in case uh, someone in her family has a collarbone fracture. Uh, uh, most, as I told you, most of the bones in young person, especially, they take three months, three to six months. And the collar bone fracture is not a very serious fracture. Uh, it unites very rapidly and it unites almost uh, uh, in uh, every patient. Rarely it go into the non-union. And most of the time it doesn't require operation as well, collar bone fracture. You just uh, put a figure of uh, shoulders are raised back. You uh, keep it for a few weeks. It unites. Absolutely, doctor. And uh, with this, I'd like to thank you, Dr. C.S. Yadav, for joining us and sparing your valuable time and educating us. And with this, my dear friends, this is the wrap of this edition of Question Hour. Let's talk health. We'll be back with more interesting episodes. Till then, stay vaccinated. That's the only way in case you haven't taken that. And of course, keep that mask up. On that note, many thanks for watching India Science. Namaskar.